Ben Jen, that warrant details what the children themselves told investigators they experienced at the hands of their caretaker, including an 11-year-old victim who came forward, telling investigators he didn't want to leave the daycare knowing the other children were being abused. Again, a warning that the details are disturbing. New details into the allegations of abuse made against 61-year-old Brenda Fornell, who ran a daycare out of her Wallingford home. According to the arrest warrant, an 11-year-old boy first reported it to his mother and took it upon himself to bring a cell phone to the daycare and record audio from the day, evidence which ended up helping investigators. The warrant states that just three and a half minutes into the recording, Fornell could be heard swearing at a child. There were also noises that were described as the child crying and being smacked around. The nine children left in Fornell's care ranged in age from one to 11 years old. Almost all of them were interviewed by social workers as part of the investigation. In the warrant, one victim described seeing another child get sick and Fornell put the vomit in the child's hair, as well as dragged the child through her own urine to clean it up after she had wet herself. A three-year-old victim said, Brenda was hitting and kicking me, and it happened more than one time. A six-year-old victim said, Brenda is mean to us every day, and described having his head shoved in a metal trash can and being called ugly and stupid. Multiple children made allegations of Fornell threatening them with a blue knife on several occasions. Children also told investigators a two-year-old victim would be left in his crib all day and would bang his head on the crib out of boredom. At least one child described being sexually abused. In their interviews, multiple children described abuse that dated back several years. Fornell's boyfriend, 66-year-old Grant Freer, was also arrested. He's charged with conspiracy to commit risk of injury to a child. According to the warrant, a child said Freer witnessed the abuse but did not do anything about it. Fornell is facing several charges, risk of injury to a child, assault, threatening, voyeurism with malice, and sexual assault. According to the Office of Early Childhood, when it was informed of the allegations, it took immediate steps to suspend Fornell's license. Fornell voluntarily surrendered it back in September. In the studio, Gabby Molina, Fox 61 News.